All right, guys, so back at the beach. A little bit of light rain today, and it's around uh, mid-tide, so not the best, but not too bad. Anyway, I'm just heading up to this uh, little area. I found this two days ago, and there was a lot of rocks exposed. Uh, there was a lot of targets, a lot of iron. I uh, managed to find two silver chains. One was kind of broken, but, and I think I found a ring and a few coins, but I'm sure there's some better targets in there somewhere. So, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of digging them up. <laughs> anyway, guys, stand by. Okay, guys, this is not really the first target, but let's pretend it is. Okay, that's the it. Uh, it's just some um, construction. It's like a big nail. Okay, let's get going. Hey, just back up a 31 target. 32. All right. That's heavy. <laughs> it's like a padlock? I'm not sure what that is, but it's heavy. Okay. Let's keep moving. Okay, it's a nice sounding 11. I'm still uh, getting lots of construction. A lot of construction stuff up here still. That'll be it. Yeah. Oh no, that's some, um, some bling. Okay, it's a nice sounding 14. Up oh, deep. Sprint it up here. Uh, there's targets everywhere. <laughs> Which I like. Alright. I think this is the uh, first piece of jewelry of the day. <laughs> it's like a Small silver earring. A uh, little hard and ru ruby. Okay, guys, I'll keep going. Okay, we've got a key. Looks like a bullet, or at least a shell. Good pull. More of these construction things. Looks like more construction junk. It's like a stainless steel bolt. Some wire. Maybe a battery terminal. Looks like a bling pendant. Two bullets. I finished with this rock area. I'm not really finding any jewelry. It's just uh, construction stuff. So I'm gonna head up north. I'm gonna hop on the motorbike up north, see what's happening there. I think I've got about an hour left. And hopefully I can find some jewelry. Okay guys, I'm at a new location. I call this the honey hole and uh, this area has produced more gold and jewelry uh, for me than the rest of this beach. So I've always liked this spot, but it's looking a little bit flat. Anyway, I'll do some uh, V-line patterns and check if there's any targets. If not, I'll go further north. Stand by. Hey guys, got my first ring. Just a small ring, looks silver, but uh, yeah, first ring of the day. Okay, second target in the honey hole. 15 to 18. different. Okay, let's get going. Okay, got a nice sounding 15 target. But thankfully not in the waves. Okay. Oh, she's up. Okay. 
So let's think of... Got a nice sound in 10-11. This one sounds nice and crisp. Okay, I got it. And those things are happy when they're filled with sand and water. Okay, solid 11 now. Oh, there we go. It's a ring. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Maybe a stainless steel sort of. I don't think it's tungsten. It's not very heavy. Okay guys, gotta try and find some yellow. <laughs> I'll keep going. Okay, bunch of keys. These look fresh. Another crusty coin. Uh, Alright guys, that's it for today. Uh, I think I pushed about five hours and um, yeah, I'm totally gassed out. Uh, time to call it quits. I was uh, hoping uh, the longer I kept going, that I would hopefully pull out some gold, but uh, it's not to be. Last three hunts, no yellow. <laughs> you can't get it all the time. Alright guys, see you at the wrap up. Alright, time for the wrap up. So, this hunt I did about three days ago, but it's still kind of fresh in my memory because I was just editing the video. And lots of targets, plenty of targets. and. These are quite heavy targets. This isn't light stuff. Um, there wasn't many uh, pull tabs or bottle caps. So lots of keys, bullets. Um, these heavy... Uh, some of you guys wrote in and said these are most likely valves from a four-cylinder... Oh, not a four-cylinder. Um, four-stroke motorbike, which is possible, but I don't know. They don't look very good. And it also looks like they're welded together. So I'm not sure if you can do this with um, engine valves, but... I don't know what they are, but whatever they are, they sound good on the metal detector, and it's probably because of this roundness here. If you get them like that, it's um, the metal detector just screams. So yeah, lots of targets, guys. Uh, I was exhausted after this hunt, and I didn't really find anything terribly good. Uh, I did find a few junk rings, which I didn't get on video. So yeah, I got this one on video, and I believe this is silver, it's turned black, but I didn't bother to test it. Uh, the rest are just junkers. Um, these are really crusty and old. And I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't really have a find of the day. I guess it's this. And um, this is probably a stainless ring. And yeah, there was also this old earring. It could be silver. I also didn't bother testing this yet. So on my last video, I talked about this coin I found. It's an American half dollar from 1971. And in the video, I mentioned that uh, this is potentially 40% silver because although they stopped making the silver coins in 1970, I believe, was the last year. Uh, this is 1971, and but this is the 1971D, and there's like a little uh, D under his neck. Um, I did a quick search on Google, and it said that, yeah, the 1971D was in fact made of 40% silver, but... Some of you got sorry. Some of you guys made comments and said, "Hey, I'm a coin collector. Uh, these are not silver," and I was a little bit confused. And to be honest, guys, I know nothing about um, American silver coins, so I thought, what a better way to test it than do the scratch test uh, with the 18k acid. So I did do the scratch test, and it did look silver. Um, I th when it was scratching, I thought, "Wow, this looks silver." And when I put the 18k acid on it, it just ate it away. So uh, you guys who wrote in saying that uh, the 1971D coin is not silver, it seems you guys are correct. <laughs> because, yeah, that doesn't... Normally when you put the 18K on the silver, it turns a blue color, but um, this just kind of ate it away. So, uh, not to worry. Anyway, guys, so tomorrow morning, uh, 6.40 a.m., low tide, I'm going to head back out and hopefully I'm going to find some gold because a lot of the heavy stuff is washing up and it is that time of year, but... The last four or five hunts, I haven't found any yellow, which is, um, yeah, kind of rare this time of year. You normally find at least uh, one or two pieces. So, uh, fingers crossed, I can show you something more interesting than uh, <laughs> than trash. 
Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the hunt, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.